Oh yeah, working hard to get, where can I put this? We're going to lean it, I'm tired. Working hard to help Stephanie get her car done. I'll give you guys before and after pics and eventually I'll show you. I'm going to have Jeremy help me make a, a video about what she's done. You guys are going to be amazed, but then maybe you won't because she is pretty amazing. Just vibrationally. Anyway, I was thinking about something last night and I had to do a video about this because, well, this will explain to you guys so much if you listen. Now, I would say there's about 200 of you that pretty quickly watch my videos. And after 200 and whatever videos, um, you've kind of got the idea that I've been pretty serious about remember your creator God, create your reality, be happier and happier and happier. And I have heard for years, ever since I died, why do we come here? Why do bad things happen here? Okay, guys, I think it's time, you guys are ready, that I am going to tell you why bad things happen here. And I'm going to do it with a couple of analogies, one specific one, because, well, I was a nurse, so I'm going to use medical. Now, I want you to think this little kid. Here's a little kid, the kid's being raised three, four years old, five years old, he starts watching doctors on TV. He starts seeing them save lives. He sees the money that they make. He starts saying something to his parents and his family, his friends about he wants to be a doctor when he grows up. Everybody responds positively to this. And they're very thrilled. And they gave him all this positive input. So now this little kid goes, well, I'm interested too. Well, I'm really interested. Now for the next how many years he watches movies he envisions he sees himself saving people's lives helping people okay takes all of these years of focused tenacious energy towards that goal after he gets out of high school then he goes through years of college studying all the things that can go wrong with people deciding which kind of people he's going to help right now we're into decades. Then he spends the rest of his life, all of this focused energy for what? 60 years of focused energy on a direct reason. This focused energy that has gone out into the universe from one creator God, just one, says nothing to the universe but send me people who are hurt or in trouble. Just one. Do you know how many entities have to volunteer to play to that one creator God's demand, insistence, creative path of being that doctor? Okay. Are you with me? Are you with me? So for every doctor, every lawyer, every policeman, every nurse, every accountant, every you start naming them housekeeper, builder, start name them. Every single career that is on this planet that is meaningful requires them to help somebody. Now, who you mad at, guys? Still mad at the guys that are doing all the hard things? It takes probably hundreds of thousands of entities to volunteer a moment in their time where things don't go well, where they get hurt or they get sick, to play to that one doctor's desire to be a healer, a hero for 60 years. And that's the way this whole planet is. This whole planet is. You've got people who are um, sad and want to go to movies, so all the actors and actresses do movies that make them laugh, make them happy. You've got, uh, oh, just go through it. Just go through it. News uh, to tell people, well, they've got to find the bad things to warn people about. Just about every single, really, what you would consider worthwhile job on this planet is based on a creator God sending forth an incredible amount of energy to towards that desire, that goal, that task. It only takes six seconds to create something, guys. Six seconds. So if you've got one creator God focusing 50% of their time for six decades, 
Can you see how much was needed? So when you see your world surrounded by bad things, understand that all you good guys, you're the ones that did it. Because the second, the second, everyone says, I don't need to be a good guy. I don't want to be a bad guy. I'm going to take care of myself. I'm good. It'd be over. All of it would be over. It could be over if I could magically get in everyone's head around this planet, every human's head, and go, look, if you do this, everything, everybody has a perfect life. I could get it done in a split second. But right now, there's chicken or the egg thing going. So how do you stop it? No more doctors, no more policemen, no more firemen, no more, no more, no more. Okay, there's going to be a lag time there. So what happens to all these people that, are, that have been called forth by all these people that wanted to be heroes, wanted to do good for people? There's going to be a lag time there, right? Where there's not going to be anybody to help them. Everybody shuts off. So there's going to be a lot of people that die. A lot of people that die. Now, after that, there won't be any more because there won't be a call for it. But if you are a creator God and you want to help people and you insist that that is your place on the earth, that is a reason for being here, the universe does not have a choice but to make sure that you have people that you can save. You see? So, guys... Are the bad guys the bad guys? Or are the good guys the bad guys for insisting that the bad guys exist? Think about that for a while. Now rethink your lives a little bit. See, you've been taught things upside down and backwards. But when you get that, then you can let go of all of that dualism, that all good guy, bad guy, that all this or that, accept it all, Raise your vibration and go to 5D with me. Go to 5D with me. Okay? All right. Let's see how you guys handle that. Uh, huge hugs. And I love you guys so much. And I'll talk to you later. Bye now.